I don't know what the deal with my right pointer finger always lifting is. I have a few guesses. The nail is simply too thin. The nail is too damaged. Sadly, I may be using it to type more than I would like to admit. And that flexing is leading to perforations on the nail. Those are some guesses. Or the gel gets too close to the sidewall, which is a little detached and that detachment causes overflowing and then lifting, of course. I tried it all and I can definitely go back and improve on anything that I've already given a go. But today I am super excited to try one of Cocoa's latest releases, Fixie Gel. <music> Hey there and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Paola of paolaponsenails.com, your source for all things premium soft gels and entrepreneurship in the nail industry. If you're interested in growing in this niche with me, do consider subscribing to our weekly email list and this channel. First off, what is Fixie Gel? Fixie Gel is semi-hard consistency soak off gel that is formulated with nylon fibers to fix broken nails. Fixie Gel by Cocoas is offered in two options, Fixie Gel Clear and Fixie Gel Natural. The clear option can be used on any part of the entire natural nail, including creating an extension, while the natural can be used to fix the free edge part of the nail flawlessly. By the way, if you find the name Fixie Gel super cute or super annoying, I hope not, I got to name it. So hooray! Essentially, Fixie Gel with its nylon fibers would replace the use of a silk wrap. Of course, you can still use a silk wrap if you don't want to invest in this product, but that's one key benefit to Fixie Gel. Fixie Gel can go directly on the natural nail, but it will need to be overlaid. Any cocoa gel should be a good combination. Just remember that Excel Builder cannot go directly on the natural nail. What kind of breaks can Fixie Gel fix? These are three broken nail scenarios that Fixie Gel can fix. So natural nails that have a tear in them, that's kind of the case for me for my flexible nail with the perforations. Natural nails that are missing a piece on the free edge, so the whole free edge doesn't have to be missing. And of course, natural nails whose free edge has broken off completely, and so you will be forming a new free edge with your Fixie Gel product. Today, we'll be specifically exploring the first scenario, natural nails that have a tear in them. Here's how I went about it for myself for my annoying index finger that often lifts. Step one, remove the gel. You can do an acetone soak or remove with an e-file. I like to reduce the bulk with a medium carbide or ceramic and then change my bit to a fine ceramic. My favorite supply for ceramic bits and other bits and implements is Nashley Nails, and I'll drop a link to that in the description box below, and you can save 10% from Nashley Nails and Calculus USA. If you consider yourself a trained tag, you should have no problem thinning down the gel all the way until any lifting portion pops off of the natural nail. Step two, prep the natural nail. I'm using e-file technique. My technique entails pushing back the epinachium and framing it, round or square, depending on what the natural epinachium is already doing. I then like to scrape the cuticle off of the nail plate. I consider the step sweeping the nail plate, like with an actual like broom kind of thing, mentally, of course, before coming in with my vacuum, AKA my e-file, to pick it all up or sweep it all up. After sweeping, it's time for my eval and diamond bit attachment. I do this process as per eval technique taught in my EAM course, which is my efficient evaling masterclass. If you're interested, again, I'll drop a link for that in the description box below. Step three, smooth out any perforations. My perpetual nail lifting finger needs this step for sure. Anytime you have perforations on the nail, you want to reduce them or the problem will persist. I typically do so with a ceramic bit, but I did so this time with the same diamond that I used to prep the natural nail. I figured it would be a bit more gentle and this nail needs all of that gentleness. Step four, apply Fixie Gel. We're here, it's time for the Fixie. Remember, Fixie Gel can go on the natural nail, but it will need to be overlaid. Use a quality gel brush, one that doesn't feel particularly like you're brushing on gel with a thick mop. Just about any Japanese gel nail brand brush I use is high quality for me. I'll be using and staying on brand and use Cocoa's flat brush. It's really thin and allows me to use it as a liner brush because it's so thin indeed. When using Fixie Gel, you simply want to guide it with an edge or a corner of your brush. The less contact with it, I found that the better. Step five, 
overlay Fixie application. I will be overlaying my Fixie gel application with Mega Stick Base, followed by Excel Builder. Remember, Excel Builder cannot touch the natural nail directly. Step six, shape and refine. I like to leave my free edge shaping till this point. If you are an experienced tech at structured overlays, the body of your new nail most likely won't need refinement. So just take care of your free edge here. Step seven, you do you. You tell me what's next. As for me, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the rest of this hand. I'm gonna go ahead with a structured overlay along with a fun design, which I hope to share with you maybe in my next video. I hope you enjoyed using this new fix for fixing a gel nail that perpetually lifts. And if you'd like to learn how to use Fixie Gel Natural for full freeform extensions, I'm releasing this lesson exclusively in my new extensions course, Extension Petite, where I will take you through two additional ways to extend nails. You can sign up to the waitlist, AKA the VIP list, to receive all the updates on this course, including enrollment date and price. If you enjoyed today's content, do consider subscribing. And if you have an extra minute or two, and if you have a friend who you think may benefit from today's conversation, please share this topic with them by forwarding them the link. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.